Good afternoon, YouTube. <clears throat> this is Johnny. I this is a Monday, and I suppose I am doing a Monday reads. <laughs> uh, I'm making this video because I got in the mail just a minute ago a book that I had ordered from uh, Reformation, Reformation Heritage Books and I thought I would do an unboxing. <laughs> I haven't done one of those. I don't... I get books from Amazon if I get books in the mail and then I get books from from Reformation Heritage which is they sell reform literature. Puritan reprints, theology, they're the ones that are reprinting the works of William Perkins. And, but I showed you, <coughs> excuse me, I showed you in a, a previous video their catalog and I got an email that they were publishing, re reprinting this book by Jeremiah Burroughs. And I have showed you that in past videos, I, over the years, the works of Jeremiah Burroughs have been reprinted. And this one has never been reprinted. And it just came out. And so, of course, I had to buy it. It's, it's, it's not like I'm really into, into English Puritanism like I was for many, many years. I'm more into Pauline theology, especially the Epistle of the Romans in the New Testament, the Epistle of Galatians. I'm more into the life and the theology of the Apostle Paul. But when it comes to Christian spirituality, what books to read as a Christian, you can't go wrong reading the Puritans. You just can't. As far as what's out there in Christian literature today, in the modern times, you can't go wrong reading the Puritans. And so I still read them. Now, I used to just read the Puritans. That's all I read for years. And systematic theology, Reformed theology. And I didn't read much anything else. Well, once in a while I read, like, you know, John Updike or Jack Kerouac or John Irving or Philip Roth or somebody like that, Joseph Carroll Oates. And, uh, but I read the Puritans and I read theology for many, many, many years. And then I d just start reading all over the map. But anyway, this is the new one, Moses Choice, Jeremiah Burroughs, edited by Don Kistler. And this is uh, the new Puritan reprint. It is perhaps the greatest tribute to Jeremiah Burroughs that his contemporaries held him in such high esteem. No less men of renown than Thomas Goodwin, William Greenhill, and William Bridge published six volumes of his writings after his death because of the regard of his wisdom and piety. Burroughs was educated at Emmanuel College, Cambridge. He was rector at St. Margaret's Tidfellshaw from 1631 to 1636, a church that still stands in Sol Sol Solfrook. Because of his nonconformity, he fled to Holland and settled at Rotterdam where he was a colleague of William Bridge. Once he, once he was able to return to England, he was chosen preacher to two of the largest congregations in all of London, the churches at Stepney and Cripplegate. A member of the Westminster Assembly of Divines, Burroughs was also a beloved for, for his gentle spirit. Richard Baxter said of him, if all the Episcopalians had been like Archbishop Usher, all the Presbyterians like Mr. Stephen Marshall and all the independents like Jeremiah Burroughs, the breaches of the church would soon have been healed. Northampton Press has also published Faith by Jeremiah Burroughs. 
So yeah, I got this in the mail today. It says here in the back, Moses Choice, Jeremiah Burroughs, 1699 to six no, 1599 to 1646. That's the date of his birth and the date of his death, 1599 to 1646. And much modern theology, suffering is to be avoided at all co cost and using all means. However, the Old Testament figure, Moses, actually chose to suffer. He chose suffering over pleasure, and that is the basis for this extremely rare Puritan work. It is based on Hebrews 11, verse 25 and 26. Moses chose to suffer affliction with the people of God rather than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. This is the first modern edition of this work since its initial printing in 1641. Other editions available today are only facsimiles of the 1650 edition with the old English typeface and outdated spelling and punctuation. This Northampton Press edition has been completely re-typeset. So that's it, Moses' Choice by Jeremiah Burroughs. Uh, yeah, like I said, I have volumes of his works downstairs. I'll, I'll show those in the next in the previous next videos. Or in a few, I think I did a video in the in the past where I showed you his uh, his works. So I got that in the mail today. Uh, today I volunteered at the library used bookstore, The Book Nook, and when I was there I read the journals of John Cheever, really enjoying this, and I read some more of The Solitudes by John Cro Crowley, I read that today at The Book Nook. I brought home this used book from The Book Nook, Living with the Dead, 20 Years on the Bus with Garcia uh, and the Grateful Dead by Rock Scully with David Dalton. That's Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead who has passed away a number of years ago now. So yeah, I, this, I got this because it's on the 60s, the 1960s. It's on San Francisco back in the 60s and I don't know, High Ashbury in San Francisco. It's about those days and I have other books on the on the Grateful Dead. I don't really listen to the music of the Grateful Dead. I think I have one CD of the Grateful Dead, but I like reading about that time period. I collect rock biographies, like oh, oh like Bob Dylan, uh, Jim Morrison of the Doors, uh, people like that. So I got that today. This morning I read for devotions, uh, once again, Selected Works of Robert Rolick. I was reading his uh, uh, treatise on effectual calling. I read that this morning. So, and I read Prepared by for Grace, the Puritans on Ordinary God's... Prepared by Grace, for Grace, the Puritans on God's Ordinary Way of leading sinners to Christ, Joel R. Beakey and Paul M. Smalley. I was reading that this morning too. So I just thought I'd show you my new book that I got in the mail this afternoon. Paul's Choice, New Puritan Reprint by Jeremiah Burroughs, who was born in 1599 and died in 1646. So that's my Monday Reads, writing in my diary. I'm on page 1010 this afternoon. My wife is out having lunch with an old girlfriend. And I have been, like I said, I went to the book nook I read. I got home around 1, 110. I ate lunch, cleaned the kitchen, cataloged the book I got today from the book nook. I'll catalog this now into my library thing, Moses Choice. I wrote in my diary, I read, I wrote my online diaries, uh, I made a fresh pot of coffee, 
and listening to Joe Jackson this afternoon, the, the music of Joe Jackson, Blaze of Glory. Outside, it is rainy, it is cold, it is damp, it is dismal, it is dreary. It is a vast, howling wasteland out there. But hey, I can read Jeremiah Burroughs. I think the text is probably on the first page. Yeah, Hebrews 11, verse 25. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Hebrews 11.25. That's the text that this book is based on. So I hope you had a good weekend. This is a Monday Reads. And yeah, I don't have any, I have another book coming in the mail this week. Uh, sometime, maybe this week it's coming in the mail. So I'll sign off. I'll download this video. Thank you for the comments. Do pray you're all doing well. And until the next time... Also, thank you for the new subscribers, and uh, thank you for watching my videos. I thank you for your support, and do once again pray that you're all doing well. Until next time, bye.